today I'm going to review the Glock US4 and oof, the Revoltinator. Let's see this in review. We're going to start up with the Glock US4. The Glock US4 isn't even a new blaster at all, except for grip, as well as new colors, more comfortability, da da da. So actually, this is part of the Alpha Strike series. The Alpha Strike series is basically a budget series. Well, they make blasters like what? Not very high quality, but kind of high quality. So this is a the Glock US4. Now this is the successor of the Tank US4. This is a yellow one, and this is a usual four shot. Four shot spring powered gun, and this has it had ten darts in it, but it's nine actually because of the one dart I'm missing. But it can fire sh four shots. So this has the Nerf logo on it, the Alpha Strike, and these are all the darts. They kind of look like Elite darts. Elite darts are. Does anybody know M Strike Elite? Please tell me in the comments below. And then the big momo. Now this is called the Revoltinator. It's a zombie strike gun that was released in 2019. Part of the zombie strike series, and this is the first ever flyby zombie strike blaster. Now this has an 18 dart magazine and 18 darts in total. This is this needs four AA batteries in order to make. So in order to make it functional, then there is this power sound. You can see. And it becomes like a kind of like a rifle noise when you try to press it harder. And this. It comes with a shock It comes with shocks. Electrical sound. It's nice. But actually this not only has a motorized sound. Not only has motorized lights, but also sound. So, wait, hold on. A tactical rail, as well as an M strike dialog. Another tactical rail. And look at this. This is. You don't need to even customize this gun because it's so good. It's literally uncustomizable. It's out of the box. Well, unlike the shock wave, because it's, it, it needs an, it has an strike stock attachment, and strike barrel lug, also has strike tactical rails. But yeah, no need to customize this gun. This is a pretty good gun overall, and the magazine is 18 dots, just like the rapid strike. It's a good gun actually. 10 out of 10. You want to? Wanna get shoot at a what? This can kill whenever you need whenever you want a rifle, you need the zombie strike the coordinator. It is so funny. So let's start with the final. the fan qs4 so the fan qs4 is a 5 out of 5 because of its four shot action but the accuracy wasn't as nearly good as the active strike guards let me explain why these guards are inaccurate now do you see any hole do you see any hole here the, this is the hole that caused them to be inaccurate because the air will come they, there's air here the air causes it to be inaccurate so it will go when you try to shoot when you try to shoot straight it will go there or when you try to shoot there it will go it will go there It'll, 
so when you try to shoot straight it will go on the right side if you try to shoot right then you will it will be straight so yeah this is this is an this is cause of the accuracy in accuracy in these blasters but i don't know about the fps because i do not have a i think it's around like what 75 fps for the fan qs4 so now i'll be talking about the revoltinator the revoltinator might have like what 80 fps there might he might this gun might have 79 fps for dark so yeah this is a motorized blaster it's a mag fed but i don't know if mag fed blasters do really well but yeah that 12 out of 10 because of the sound it is so good but also how does the box man why do you need to customize anything you can spend money on this gun and this gun also because this is four shot and this is having cool lights and i mean motors it's good and because of its higher capacity this is the biggest nerf gun i have bought till this this is the biggest nerf gun i bought now so this these two are the greatest guns i've ever had now please subscribe to my channel hope hope you like the video smash that like button and i will see you again and until now